Development aid can be more than health clinics and clean water. Sometimes it's all about words. Lots of words. আবার ওই ছেলে সন্তানক বেশি আবার লক্ষ্য করিবেন মেয়ে সন্তানক কম করিবেন এইটা আবার ফি করা দাও নাই লাইক হিয়ার ইন নর্থ ওয়েস্টার্ন বাংলাদেশ ওয়ে দা লোকাল এনজিও আরডিআরএস উইথ মানি ফ্রম দ্য ইইউ স্ট্রাইভস টু গিভ দ্য পোর ভিলেজেস স্ট্রেন্থ এন্ড ভয়েস দ্য এফর্ট ইজ বিইং অর্গানাইজড থ্রু মোর দ্যান 350 লোকাল ফেডারেশনস a good example of the activities is women's groups where the women of a village can gather and discuss their problems it doesn't exactly sound revolutionary we are however in a male dominated society where women are consigned to the kitchen most of the time so to gather in a courtyard and express one's problems might be just a short walk but it is a long mental journey the federations also set the framework for a string of other activities conducted by volunteers Young people learn about their rights in order to prevent assaults and sexual harassment. Women learn about health and hygiene and they can take sewing courses in order to supplement the income of a family. Many federations have access to the internet. Here the farmers can seek help to find information about the most effective way to cultivate the farmland. In many federations they create rice banks where they can store away the surplus from the harvest in order to sell it for a better price later. The federations also arrange meetings where the peasants can engage their local politicians. It is not rocket science. And it is not always that interesting. It is, however, an essential building block in the work of developing a democracy where even the poorest have a voice. The journey towards rights and democracy is long and the boat won't reach the shore in one day, but it is on its way.